and welcome. My name is Ed Shara and today is my one year booktube anniversary and I thought what better way to celebrate than with my first book haul of the year. Okay guys so I have been slowly collecting books this year and that is mainly because I set a goal to read before I buy and the majority of these books do fit that criteria although there are a few exceptions and I think that's perfectly justifiable especially when the books are cheap and some of these books you will have probably seen in previous videos so I'm not going to spend too much time on them but I will leave links to the videos up in the cards in case you want to check them out and I purchased books from thriftbooks.com, Barnes & Noble, my local thrift store and I got one from Ollie's which is a closeout store. So starting with thriftbooks.com I have Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls and I saw Mary Ellen from Portraits of Me reread this book a couple of months ago on her channel and then when I was making my list for heartbreaking middle grade reads um, for middle grade May I was like I don't have a copy of that so I should pick one up and this one is in pretty good condition it does have a crease down the spine but I think if I put a little bit of tape on the inside I should be okay. I also picked up books 4, 5, and 6 in the Rizzoli and Isles series by Tess Gerritsen and I have Body Double and Vanish and the Mephisto Club and I apologize if these are not in the right order but this is one of my favorite mystery series. It follows um, Detective Jane Rizzoli and medical examiner Maura Isles as they investigate um, and solve crimes together and I did end up getting my money back for these just because they I ordered them in like new condition and they all came with broken spines and poor body double is missing a page um, or the page fell out however you want to say it but I did get my money back so while it was a bummer at least I got them for free. Then I also picked up Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson and this was another one that I shared in my heartbreaking middle grade reads video as well as Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, pictures by Garth Williams and this one is a little beat up with the dust jacket but the actual hardcover is in pristine condition and I think this is an older edition so I'm pretty happy about that. And then the last book that I picked up from Thrift Books was Ever Lost by Neil Schusterman. And you know this is a buddy read with Mary Ellen. And I ended up getting my money back for this one as well because I ordered a book in like new condition and I got a library copy. And I'm not, I'm usually okay with library copies, but that wasn't what I ordered. And this one came with some liquid damage in the back. Um, the pages are a little bit brown and kind of wrinkly. Thankfully I can still see the words um, but I figured if I read this and enjoy it I will just look for a different edition. The one book that I picked up from Ollie's was Mrs. Smith's Spy School for Girls by Beth McMullen and this is a book that I added to my Goodreads last year because that's when it came out and I saw it at Ollie's for $2.99 so I had to pick it up and this one follows a girl named Abigail who finds out that her boarding school is a secret spy school and I just think that's neat and the cover is great and the naked hardback is pretty as well because it's red which is my favorite color if you haven't learned that by now. And then from the thrift store I picked up Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky and I know this is a classic but I've never read it and I figured it's only a dollar why not um, but this one follows a young man who plans the perfect crime and that is the murder of this despicable pawnbroker who is a very mean lady that nobody is going to miss and I ended up reading the first couple of paragraphs while in the thrift store and it sounded really interesting so I'm hoping that I will enjoy this um, in its entirety. <laughs> 
I also picked up a copy of Swiss Family Robinson by Johanna Weiss. And this is such a cute copy. So I figured, why not? Now, this is a book that I do already own. But it's an older copy that I inherited and it is well loved and so I don't want to read it and you know have it fall apart on me so I picked up this copy um, and it was a dollar. Um, but this follows um, the, the Robinson family who in a storm um, their ship wrecks on this deserted island and as there's you know belongings start washing ashore they begin to create this home on this island and growing up i loved the movie which i think was made in either the 50s or the 60s maybe i'm not really sure but i love that movie i've seen it so many times and um i love the story so i figured i'd pick this one up and then the last book from the thrift store is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. And y'all, I got this for 50 cents. And this was not even on my TBR. I know a lot of people have talked about this one here on BookTube. So I figured for that price, why not? Um, I'm not really sure what this one is about. I do know it's a little bit about adoption. But other than that, I don't really know. So we shall see if I enjoy this. And the last few books are the ones that I picked up from Barnes & Noble. So I have a newer edition of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and my edition is a not so cute um, mass market paperback edition that's currently in storage anyway. So I saw this one for $10 at Barnes & Noble and I figured why not. Um, this book I had to read it originally um, during the summer for English 2 Honors and I hated it. And then I reread it again in um, my early 20s and I really enjoyed it so I picked up this new edition I really want to reread it hopefully I'll love it as much as I did the second time around and then I also picked up A Monster Calls this is a novel by Patrick Ness it was inspired by an idea from Seal Ben Dowd and this is illustrated by Jim K and this was another one that I shared in my heartbreaking middle grade reads video from last month and it's just, it's really, that's probably not the best <laughs> illustration, but I don't want to show you too much and then spoil it. But I love this book and I read it last year. Um, I also watched the movie last year and I really enjoyed that. And I would highly recommend this book. I will say, be prepared, it will probably make you cry. And then the last two books that I have are these two beauties right here. <laughs> so first is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. And this is the Barnes & Noble Special Edition. And this was the first book I purchased this year. And I picked it up right after I took the um, library copy back. And I got the Barnes & Noble Special Edition because it is red. And red's my favorite color. And it's beautiful. <laughs> and the Barnes and Noble edition has a map in the back, and I could use this as a poster if I wanted to. Um, and I think it has the map that's in the back, as well as a list of all of the clans. And there's also a um, annotated chapter as well. So. I love this book. It does have some flaws, but it's still definitely a five-star read, and I would highly recommend it. And then I also have Like Vanessa by Tammy Charles, and you probably saw me gush over this one in my mid-month wrap-up last month. I absolutely loved it. It's so fantastic, and I had to have a copy, and I love it because it's got purple on the inside, and then underneath I love that one gold sunflower and then look at that spine but this is another one that I would highly recommend I absolutely loved it these two are definitely favorites for the year um, so you'll probably be seeing them you know featured again because I definitely want to reread both of these so I can tab them up as well but that's it for my book haul I just want to say thank you to everyone who has made my first year here on booktube so much fun um, I did not think I was going to make it past my first month because there were a couple of videos um, that I posted in the beginning where 
I just wasn't comfortable and I wasn't really being myself. I think I was trying a little too hard. And so I started second guessing my decision. Um, but I'm so glad that I stuck to it. I've met so many wonderful people and I've discovered so many wonderful books and amazing authors. And I can't wait to see what the future brings for my booktube channel. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, God bless. Bye. Evie White and illustrated by Stuart Little and illustrated by Stuart Little. No, no, no.